Corde, Drodze Psiacelli, Lo Ela Porek, Son of Dieu Galer. Whether you're joining us from Poland, from Ireland, or from further afield, here's to a healthy, happy, and green St. Patrick's Day. We Irish often remark how unique the celebration of St. Patrick's Day is. We may be an island of less than 5 million on the western edge of Europe. However, with a global diaspora of some 70 million, our National Day allows us to celebrate strong and vibrant connections across the world. This year, of course, we celebrate those connections very differently. And with that comes a certain poignancy. In March 2020, we found ourselves across Europe in uncharted territory. The COVID pandemic had only begun to make itself felt. Since then, it has brought many losses. The loss and ease of daily human connection, namely a warm embrace. The loss of livelihoods, and most hard of all, the loss of loved ones for so very many. In marking St. Patrick's Day, therefore, we are so very conscious of the 12 months that have been. But with its emphasis on green, we also hope that St. Patrick's Day 2021 can signal the roots of recovery. Over the past year, we have shown the breadth of our resilience. We have turned adversity into opportunity. We have forged virtual connections across borders and time zones. We have addressed shared challenges with vigour and determination. And most importantly, we have continued to create and to inspire. Today is an opportunity to celebrate that resilience and to look with hope to the future. Over the course of the next short while, I hope you will stay with us to reflect and celebrate together. To set the scene this evening, however, let me first introduce our Taoiseach, Michal Martin. Thank you, Ambassador. And I would like to wish you and everyone in Poland a very happy St. Patrick's Day. A cardigail is a cardigalair. Los Pesilta e la ela podrig, the gach gael sawalya nu har lar. St. Patrick's Day is a special day, a day when no matter where in the world we are, we celebrate our heritage and culture. So let me begin by wishing you all a happy St. Patrick's Day to our 70 million strong diaspora and our many friends across the globe. This has been a difficult year for our Irish community abroad. Many of you have lost loved ones. You have been unable to spend time with family and friends. You have missed Christmas, birthdays, weddings, and sadly, even funerals. I want in particular to acknowledge and thank the many Irish who have helped lead the fight against COVID-19, our dedicated health workers at home, but also the many Irish doctors and nurses research scientists and public health officials around the world. Many of you have put yourselves and your families at risk so that others might be safe. But now, at last, we can look forward to better days. St. Patrick's Day is our day, but that doesn't mean it is only for us. St. Patrick's Day is an open-hearted invitation to a global expression of community. It's a day that gives us a unique opportunity to speak to the world about who we are and how we can contribute to the well-being of humanity. There is, I believe, an ambition that we all now share, that we will learn from what has happened and that our responses will reflect both our interconnectedness and our interdependence. Just as the pandemic has brought out the best in us, we can use the same instincts to shape the future, bringing new meaning and values to our lives and to our role in the world. We are Irish, but we are also global citizens. COVID-19 has reminded us 
that we need global solutions and international cooperation for global challenges. That no nation, large or small, can meet these challenges on their own. St. Patrick's Day is an opportunity for us, this year especially, to express that sense of solidarity. Ireland is an open country, an outward facing place. Irish people have always sought to make a contribution wherever they have gone. The same wish to serve inspires us now. We will work with partners around the world to overcome the dreadful pandemic and to support economic and social recovery. In doing so, we will work to make sure that nobody, especially the poorest parts of the world, gets left behind. We've taken up a seat on the UN Security Council for the next two years, and we will use that position to work for peace and security throughout the world to the very best of our ability. We will continue to reach out a hand of friendship and hopefully, when we can, to welcome people back to Ireland, including those of you that have been unable to visit in recent times. As Irish people down the ages have done, we will try to make a difference every day, no more so than here on our island. As we approach the centenary of the foundation of our state, building on the achievement of the Good Friday Agreement, we will work through our shared island initiative to underpin peace and to advance the cause of reconciliation, shaping a better future for all the people. Our history, our culture, our values and our experience place us in a position to do great good in the world. There is an Irish saying, is there ska a chéile a varan nadini? We live in each other's shadow. It speaks to our sense of interdependence, of community and solidarity. Let that be our message on this special day for the global Irish. And so to conclude, we are thinking of you all today as you celebrate throughout the world. We are looking forward to welcoming you all home soon. Until then, Berbua, Benacht, Agusgrith Mila Mahagav Galer. Thank you, Tishach. Gora Mila Mahagat. Traditionally in March, we travel the length and breadth of Poland, celebrating Irish connections with communities from Poznan to Krakow to Lublin and to Wrocław. We look forward each year to bringing the Irish community in Poland together. We celebrate together because we know that Ireland's international standing owes a huge debt to the global Irish community. We embrace that community in its widest sense. It includes those who were born in Ireland, but now have put down roots v Polsce. It also includes those who have lived, worked and studied in Ireland. And equally, our community includes those who simply have a grow, a love for all things Irish, be it our music, our language, our literature, our people. Just as Ireland today is shaped and invigorated by people from all over the world, the Irish community in Poland is enriched by the influences and friendships we continue to forge here. So, say hello to our Irish community and join with us in showcasing the many iconic St. Patrick's Day greenings in towns and cities across Poland. Niezmiernie miło, iż w tym roku Lublin po raz kolejny włączy się w międzynarodowe obchody Dnia Świętego Patryka. Dzień Świętego Patryka wzbudza w nas otwartość i radość. Daje nam siłę zbycia razem. Banachty i na fele podry gory w gole. Even though we're far away from home, it's nice to know that we have a strong sense of Irish community here in Poland. From everyone at ISO, we'd like to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. 
uwielbiamy Dzień Świętego Patryka w Łodzi, ponieważ to czas radości, życzliwości i wspólnej beztroskiej zabawy. Mam wielką nadzieję, że w przyszłym roku spotkamy się razem na Paradzie ulicą Piotrkowską i będziemy wspólnie świętować Dzień Świętego Patryka. We love St. Patrick's Day here and from here we are sending you our best wishes. Let this be a message of hope, strength and friendship until we meet again. Witajcie w Dzień Świętego Patryka. Ten dzień, kiedy wszyscy, którym bliska jest Irlandia, czują się Irlandczykami. Będziemy zawsze razem po bliska jest nam Irlandia. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Poznań! In 2020, the Irish Embassy marked 30 years in Poland. Over the course of those 30 years, both Ireland's and Poland's place in the world has, of course, undergone significant transformation. It's a transformation underpinned by our shared membership of the European Union. That membership enables us to work together to address common challenges. It also enables us to ensure that values we hold dear are protected, be it respect for democracy, human rights and rule of law. And critically, that common EU membership has enabled our people-to-people -people connections to grow and to deepen. To mark our 30 years, we supported a very special group to come together namely Viral Sessions. Knowing the love there is for Irish music and dance here in Poland, we couldn't forego the opportunity to celebrate that creativity here this evening. So, take it away, Viral Sessions, and let us celebrate Polish-Irish musical collaboration.
I hope you're all tapping your feet and dancing a jig after that session. And if you're interested in a further celebration, do join us this Friday evening for an Irish music collaboration online stretching between Central Europe and the Wild Atlantic Way, namely the Dingle Peninsula in the southwest of Ireland. Check out our Irish Embassy Facebook page for further information. But as we draw to a close this evening, we want, most importantly, to look to the future. Here in Warsaw, we work together as Team Ireland. This brings together not only the work of our embassy team, but also our trade agencies who are co-located with us, namely Enterprise Ireland and Board Bia, our Irish Food Board. Do check out further aspects of our work on the ireland.ie site. We each continue to work of course, in a world where things we once took for granted are far from certain. That said, the last year has proven that together we can adapt. We can continue to push boundaries and to innovate. And most importantly, we look forward to continuing to do so with partners right across Poland. Razem możemy być gotowi na nasz nowy świat. Wszystkiego najlepszego z okazji Dnia Świętego Patryka. So this is it. The new normal. The world is a different place right now. We're living through strange times where things are changing faster than we can fathom and things we took for granted are anything but certain. We all have to adapt. Our mindset, our means, our imagination. And Irish companies are leading the way, innovating, exploring, responding, turning adversity into opportunity. Sure, our circumstances have changed, but some things remain constant. Ireland has always lived out here on the edge, so it's in our nature to push boundaries, We've learned to be nimble, to be agile, always reliable, always resilient, always ready. Enterprise Ireland continues to invest in the very best of Irish innovation. And our network of advisors are busy connecting global business leaders with dynamic Irish partners, so that together we can make this new normal a better one. We are ready for a new world.